So today we are going to see the explanation part of a bisection method. Here you can see in a bisection method, the bisection method is based upon the intermediate value, the value theorem, which says that if the function is continuous function, then there must be a two real root a and b such that f of a and f of b, the multiplication of two f of a and f of b is less than zero. Means what? There must be at least one root which lies in between a and b and it enters a x axis where the function could be a zero. In other words, if the continuous function has different sign at two points, it has to go through zero somewhere in between a and b. b. Let us see the bisection algorithm. First of all, first step is to find out the value of a and b at which the function has a different sign. For example, f of a is having a positive sign, f of b is having a negative sign, then the multiplication of f of a and f of b is less than zero. Or vice versa, if f of a is having a negative sign and f of b is having a positive sign, again it will have a negative sign. So you need to find out such kind of a initial guesses known as a and b then after finding after satisfying this condition then you need to find out c equal to a plus b divided by 2 and further you need to check a condition of an accuracy that is modulus of b minus c should be less than or equal to the accuracy the accuracy might be up to three decimal two decimal one decimal but three decimal is nothing but 0.00, .00 one two decimal is nothing but 0 0.01 and one decimal is nothing but a 0.1 if if it satisfy b minus c the modulus of b minus c is less than the accuracy then c is accepted as a root and we need to stop for that iteration if not again for next iteration we need to replace the value of either a or b by the value of c the deciding parameter to replace this value is f of c. If f of c is coming a positive, then you must replace the positive value. Means if f of a is positive, then you must replace a by c. If f of b is if f of b is positive, then you must replace by a value of b by c. And such a way you need to continue further to find out the answer. Let us see to find out the answer. Let us see this part with the help of a example. So find out the root of the equation x raised to 6 minus x minus 1 equal to 0. Accurate to within uh, error equal to 0 0.001 that is up to a 3 decimal point. So first of all we are going to write a given function as f of x equal to x raised to 6 minus x minus 1. And we need to consider the two initial gates. Let us consider a equal to 1 and b equal to 2 as your initial case. So we need to check a condition that f of a into f of b is less than 0. Yes, after finding out the value of f of a, f of 1 and f of 2, we get the multiplication of this f of 1 and f of 2 is less than 0. So we can consider a equal to 1 and b equal to 2 as an initial case for this specific problem. Then we need to find the value of c equal to a plus b divided by 2, which will become 1 plus 2 divided by 2. It will become 1.5. Likewise, we need to proceed further and we need to iterate, go on iterating further. So in the table, you can see any. Likewise, we need to proceed further and we need to iterate, go on iterating further. So in the table, you can see n equal to iteration, a equal to the first initial case, b equal to the second initial case, c equal to a plus b divided by 2, b minus c is the check condition so for calculating the error and f of c is the main condition where we need to where, where it decide whether a is replaced by c or b is replaced by c. Likewise we need to proceed further and we will have after 10th step we could come to know b minus c is equal to 0 0.00098 which is less than 0 0.001 
hence the required root approximation that is c equal to 1.338 further a graphical explanation of bisection method as you can see in a figure the function is continuous and it intersect x axis at some point which is marked by a red so that point is nothing but your root of equation while a and b are shown okay these are nothing but your two initial gases f of a is positive and f of b is negative so wherever it intersect that is nothing but your root of equation 